In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install an electric dryer. So we're going to be going over how to install the four prong cord, the vent, and the whole nine yards. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about building your own house, saving tons of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in turn for making this video. So installing one of these isn't too hard, but let's get started. I'm now on the back side of the dryer. When you go to install your dryer, there's a couple areas that almost every dryer has that's electric. We first got our vent pipe and we also got our junction box where we're going to install our four prong cord. Now in my jurisdiction I must have a four prong cord and a four prong outlet. And in some other areas you may not have that requirement and you have a three prong so I'll briefly describe how to install the three prong as well on this GE profile dryer and again it's going to be different with every dryer as far as how exactly you install this. But in this case, with the four prong, they're all pretty similar. So if you need to pick up a four prong dryer cord, I'll put a link in the description below along with this GE Profile electric dryer. So let's go ahead and get this installed first. Here is the junction box. The tool that I'm gonna be using is a screwdriver that accepts multiple bits. And I'm just gonna take the bit out. And as you can see, we're left with this hex drive. And the first thing I'm going to do is just remove this screw that's going to open up the housing. I'm now going to place the number two Phillips bit back onto the screwdriver and remove all three of these screws. And because I'm installing a four prong cord, I must remove this bridge right here. This bridge is for the three prong cord. So if this was a three prong cord, I would leave this in place, but it's not. So I got to remove this ground screw and that bridge. I'm now going to unravel my four prong cord. I'm just going to place this end right through this hole that's here on the side, like so. I'm now going to take the ground screw that came from that bridge and place it right up here through this ground wire and drive it right into this hole. I'm now going to take my white to white, black to black, and the red to the red. And be sure to tighten these up really well. And just to reiterate, this bridge would have been left on here if it was a three prone cord. But since it's a four prone cord in this installation, I had to move that ground from here to here and anchor my ground wire there. I'm now going to push this wire in just a little bit more so this black sheathing is inside of this metal plate. I'm now going to install this bracket to secure the dry wire into place. And to do this, we're going to place this into the hole and then angle it towards the wire. And then we do the same with the other bracket and it's going to go on the opposing side of the wire. I actually had to get this wrench in order to help me get it into place. I'm now going to take the two Phillips screws that it came with and place it through each hole to secure the bracket. And it's really important to secure this really well. You don't want that dryer cord being loose. And that's secured very nice. I'm now just going to reinstall the junction box cover. And now we're done in this step. Now it's time to address the dryer vent. And if we take a look over here, this is my dryer vent stubbing right out of the wall. This is running directly outside to the vent that stubs through the house. Now I just wanted to show you this because it will be different in many different scenarios. But in this case, it does not need an extension or anything of that nature. With that being said, you can purchase extensions like you see here. This is a four inch diameter pipe. That's what's going to be used as your dryer vent. And also you're going to need these ring clamps and they're just going to slide over this and clamp onto your dryer and onto a coupling if you need to add an extension. In order to make this connection, I'm going to be using this 5 16 hex drive and I got my four inch ring clamp. And the first thing I'm going to do is slide the ring clamp over the vent pipe. I want to straighten the end of the vent pipe out so it goes right over the end of the dryer here. After we slide that on all the way, we're going to slide our ring right up to that vent collar. And I'm now going to use my 5 16 to tighten down that ring clamp. And you want to snug this up well. If you tighten it down too tight, you can strip these over those grooves. So just snug it up really well. So something like that. Then give it a test wiggle and we're on really good. 
Because this dryer has a steam function, it requires a water line to be hooked to it. Now this one did come with a connection to do it. it. Comes with the Y and the water lines and everything, but I wanted the upgraded steel braided hoses. I just think they're a little tougher. So I want to show you how to install this if your dryer has it as well. The hose I'm going to attach first is the six foot hose that has this angled end. In order to make the connection, I'm going to take the female end and place it over this male end of the supply connection. After it's hand tightened really well, I'm just going to take a wrench to give it a couple more turns and make sure we got a watertight seal. And that's all there is to that piece. And now with the breaker off to this outlet, I'm going to plug in this four prong cord into this four prong outlet. And if you need to know how to install this outlet, check out the video card in the top right hand corner of the screen. I'm now going to slide this dryer into place and the key concept here is to aim right for where that duct goes through the wall because we don't want to be offset because it will kink that pipe. I'm going to lift up on this dryer cable as I slide it into place to keep it from getting squeezed back here. And now if we take a look behind the dryer, as you can see the vent is shooting straight back and going right back into the wall just like you want. I'm now going to finish hooking up the water line that's going to the dryer. So in this kit it came with this short pipe that's going to be used to go over to the Y. So I'm going to tighten that down and then give it a couple more twists with this. Now on this end of the extension we got to install this Y and this is just going to thread right onto the water line like so. And again we're going to give it a couple turns here. And now I'm just going to take that water line that's coming from the dryer and hook it right to this side of the Y. And now the idea is we got water going to the dryer and then this is going to be for our washing machine. Now that the dryer is totally hooked up, I'm going to come over here to my panel box, open it up on the ledger. I'm going to find the dryer breaker and then I'm going to kick it on. And now I got power going to the dryer. And if you need to see how to install that breaker in this panel box, check out the video link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now that I've made all the connections and I turned the breaker on, we're gonna power on the device. And it powered on okay. And I can't wait to try this thing out. I'd like for you to know the flashing lights on the dryer was because of the frame rate of the camera makes it look like it's flashing, but it's really not doing that in real life. And as you can see, the dryer is functioning properly and I will not turn that water line on yet until my washing machine is hooked up and functioning. I'm here outside where the dryer vent is. And as you can see, it's blowing plenty of air. So I know there's no obstruction in the vent pipe and that's looking really good. Now, if you need to know how to install the washing machine, Check out this video, it'll help you out.